to talk about uh, my personal experience as a pupil when I was a little kid. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you what success is, in your opinion. So, please, someone give me a quick answer. Mm. Yeah. To make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> this is a way of saying it, yeah. To like what you're doing? Yeah. To accomplish a task? Yeah. Someone else? No. Be happy. To be happy. Yeah, yeah. 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 And this is a bit disturbing because all my life I've been told that being successful just means a good grades, you know? So when I was in middle school, uh, when I was a kid, even in high school, I've never been successful in my opinion. Just so you know, I'm 19, I'm in my first year of master, and I, uh, I graduated from my bachelor with high honors. Many people would think that I am successful, but me, in my opinion, I am not. In my opinion, in fact, I might shock you, but I failed my life. In fact, my life as a person, as an, as an individual, ended before even starting. Before, because back then, when I wanted to do something, I was like Laura, I had a lot of interest in many things, and I still have some hope. But I had a lot of interest for a lot of things. I wanted to learn coding, I wanted to learn uh, to understand why, uh, why people were behaving like they did. Like, Every subject interested me. But the fact is that when I was talking with my teachers or with my parents, or anything, nah, you know, it's not relevant and, you know, I don't care about it, so why should you care? <laughs> That's basically the answer I got. And then I started questioning myself about success. You know, I was seven years old and I was already telling myself, you won't ever be successful because you're not suited to the word. Um, I, back then, I still tried to struggle against this, but my teachers were constantly telling me, just have good grades and it's good enough. <laughs> so, what I want to say is that you shouldn't say that to a